Hello, welcome to an all new 3 and 3, where Petra brings you three headlines from the world of consumer electronics in just three minutes. I'm Patrick Billings. Even if you don't own a smartphone or care about Pokemon, chances are you've heard about a new game that's sweeping the world. But what people may not know about Pokemon Go is that it's not a completely new idea. In fact, Nintendo found success with a similar game for mobile devices way back in the late 90s. A recent article in the New York Times explains how the company is salvaging what was almost a lost opportunity. The original Pokemon debuted 18 years ago on the portable Game Boy device. But then Nintendo made what is now seen as a mistake. They basically walked away from mobile gaming. When smartphones came along several years later, they adopted a strategy of refusing to sell games through app stores. It wasn't until teaming up with an American startup called Niantic that Nintendo once again found itself with a hit on their hands. But Nintendo isn't the only video game company whose products are evolving. CNET.com has revealed some juicy details about the latest offering from Microsoft. It's called the Xbox One S, and it launches on August 2nd. Aside from its smaller size, the console is set apart from its predecessors by several key features. For one thing, it comes in three different capacities, 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes, each with a different price tag, of course. It also supports 4K Ultra HD video, which is the highest resolution on any console to date. That means gamers with 4K compatible TVs can expect quality like they've never seen before. Microsoft is making the Xbox One S available in 25 countries next month, with more to follow later in the year. Elsewhere in consumer technology, the global 3D printing market continues its upward climb. 3dyears.org, a website devoted to 3D printing news, reports an increase of more than 9% for the first quarter of 2016. On top of that, the industry is expected to hit $18.4 billion by the year 2020. The data comes from a market research company called Context, and part of what makes it noteworthy is the way it breaks down by category. It seems the real driving force behind recent sales growth is the sub $4,500 personal or desktop 3D printer market, as opposed to higher-end industrial or professional 3D printers. The takeaway is that more and more everyday consumers are turning to 3D printing to add a whole new dimension to their lives. Thanks for watching this week's 3 and 3. Don't forget to tune in next week for more industry news.